first new e-flight of 2021. I'm very happy. This is the Trojan T28 and it is in my personal favorite color scheme of the T28. I mean, I love the white and orange or red. This is probably my favorite Warbird ever. Yes. Just so you know. No, I mean, <laughs> so I probably will fly this before you crash it. Sorry good. to interrupt. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, this is exciting. What I have here is a kind of redesigned from, from the ground up sort of a Trojan. They, this is now 3S and 4S compatible. There's a new smart receiver in there. So now we have telemetry on this guy back to the radio and I will be flying on my new NX6 which comes with telemetry already on it. You don't have to do any firmware updates or anything. So I'm going to fly with all that new smart technology on this airplane. I like things about it that it's just kind of simple. This is just a four channel airplane. There are no flaps, there are no retracts. It's just throttle, aileron, rudder, and elevator. It's very reminiscent to me of the good old Tower Hobbies P-51 Mustang and the other planes they had in the lineup. I really like the simplicity of this airplane. Not everything to me has to have lights, flaps, retracts. It's sometimes nice to throw a simple, uh, easier airplane in the air. This is a 1.1 meter airplane. And I think that if I had any complaints at all about the whole putting it together process, uh, it was a little frustrating to feed the aileron wires through the bottom of the fuselage, not the biggest thing in the world. And then just the front landing gear, you'll know this when you when you put yours together. It just took a little while. The, the screw up there was a little bit tight, but um, this is a steerable wheel. And so to get that lined up perfectly just took an extra minute, but all, all around it took me maybe 20 minutes or less to put together. It's held together with one screw here, the main wing is, and then uh, this is just held together with some tape, and you can always reinforce that with glue. Anyways, this thing was very easy to put together. I've got one 4S battery. I'm gonna fly doing a maiden on this airplane. It will fly on 3S2, as I said. Amazingly, this came with a spare. Pro oh. <laughs> a spare what? Stop, it's cold. <laughs> a pro 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 propeller. <laughs> Let's fly. There. <laughs> Excuse my jitters, please. <laughs> it's very cold. I should have bundled up more. 32 degrees out today. Here we go. Yeah, nice. So we do have safe on this. I didn't have it on when I took off. <laughs> oh, I just, that's the only switch that wasn't in the right place. That's okay. Uh, it flew well without safe. I'm sure this will fly great with and without safe. Let's get a feel for it. Maiden, 4S Maiden. Most of the time on these planes that can do 3S or 4S, I almost always do the Maiden with a 3S battery and then I work my way up to 4S, but I just had a good feeling about this one. So hopefully my feeling was right. We just decided to go with 4S out of the box. I love a brightly colored airplane, especially on an overcast day like this, it really makes a huge difference. I'm doing a lot of bank and yank right now. Now I'm starting to mix in a little bit of rudder. We're gonna do a full throttle pass now, I think. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. It's definitely fast. I like having 3S and 4S as an option. We'll do another fast flyby coming in this way. Sorry. It's all learning curve, mate. Yep. We're gonna have some cuts till I get <laughs> till I get this camera I'm down. Just working out the bugs okay. on that new camera setup. Yeah, I definitely need to trim up the the uh, climb rate quite a bit. It, it's climbing a lot. I've been just down the elevator this whole time, um, pushing on it. It feels good though. This is a nice, nice flying warbird. Yeah. I love the fact that this has telemetry too. I'm gonna to be playing around a lot with that. So we should get a low battery warning, especially if I keep cooking it past full throttle, but we're gonna do one more and kick it out of safe and really have some fun with it. So here's full throttle. Sounds good. Okay, safe is going off and we're just gonna, oh yeah, the roll rate is nice on this. Okay, I, I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about, get in a little closer. Look at that. Wow. That's good. Oh my gosh. I want this plane. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm <laughs> glad you're excited. So maybe you can do a 3S maiden of your own right. next. I'm excited. And, and work your way up to 4S. Didn't which... I fly our old T28 that was not E Flight branded? It was yeah. just a really off brand. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. only other T28 we've ever owned. It was good. This is nice though because we've got 
all the smart technology in this one. We have telemetry paired with our radio, so we're gonna get a low battery warning right here on the radio and all kinds of good stuff. Peak, peak voltage and temperatures and crazy stuff. Maybe we can look at that when we're done here. Yeah, you're gonna like flying this. You like a faster roll rate airplane, don't you? I do, because less time upside down. <laughs> oh, okay, good point. I'm just playing around a little bit. This, everything about it reminds me of my Tower Hobbies Millennium Master, the way it's flying. It seems a lot like that. It is, it's, it really is. The whole, this whole airplane, when I was putting it together and everything made me think, and, and it just brought back good memories. The Tower Hobbies P-51 and the Millennium Master. What else was there? Wasn't there one more that was popular? Uh, there was a Corsair. That's right, that's right. Two. And a Hellcat. Yeah, and a Hellcat. This reminds me of the Hellcat more than anything, I think. Just wanted to do a little touch and go action. Now some people might say they want it to have retracts and you know, I could see the appeal on that because a T28 does have retracts. But they won't want to pay more for it. Well, <laughs> some people would, but this one, some people you would. know, I, I like this, uh, the idea of this one because it does help keep the cost down some. You're gonna like flying this. It's, I'm excited. You're gonna, you're gonna think, wow, Millennium Master. This might be one here. that I cry if I crash it. And this will be your first plane that you fly using the NX. Oh yeah, radio new radio. With telemetry and everything. You've not flown anything with telemetry yet. I'll link the radio down in the description box below in our unboxing video that we did of Man, it. I am cold. I am shaking. Yeah, I think it's a lot colder Look at up that. here. Three then. point landing and we're back up. We're up this on a hill up here. Really nice. We're getting some sun, a little bit of sun coming oh, out. Come on, sun. Use a rudder turn here. Very nice. This flies good, guys. It could probably be trimmed up just a hair. I'm just too cold to really overthink the trimming right now. Oh, wow. Nice bright yellow T28 by E Flight. 1.1 meter. There we go. That's got to be it. That might have been my timer actually. That's five minutes probably. Yeah. I'm cooking it on that 4S. There we go. There. Some, Is that your battery alarm? Voltage. But that was at full throttle, so we're gonna do it again. I like flying this safe off, and I want to snap it. Little little slow on the snap. That's okay. Flies nice. You're yeah. I'm excited to see you fly. This. <laughs> I like it on a 4S. This is awesome. Well, it's cool that you can do 3S too. Yeah. It's kind of like a stage progression, you know? It only is. Start on 3S. And then when you're ready for a little bit more power, you can put a 4S on it. A little bit of a knife edge there. Very nice. I have not done anything inverted, and I'm probably going to land it and keep it down after I invert it. Yeah, flies inverted all right. Okay, I'm going to put this down now that safe on because my fingers are frozen i cannot feel my fingers yeah right i'm right there with you but i'm enjoying flying this i mean truly this is awesome for a maiden too i'm really happy with this everybody gets quiet on the landings will it come back in one piece for abby to fly yes yeah you're gonna really like this this is awesome this is just a good little warbird bounce 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 look at that gravel <laughs> It taxis well too. Looks good. Yeah, nice. That is a pretty plane. We gotta name the pilot. We gotta name him. Look at him in there. He's in there. Maybe one day they'll put a female pilot in one of these things. <laughs> well, here's the coolest thing. I know it'll be hard for you guys to see. Probably won't even bother showing it, but I can roll over and I have a flight log here and it tells me my time, just tons. The ESC min-max range just so much telemetry actually the voltage i said it's 15.3 volts um it's telling me that it's 20 degrees celsius <laughs> you need to change that i know, I know. <laughs> but there's just all kinds of all kinds of telemetry on here more than i even know what to do with right now my favorite thing is the low voltage alarm it's really nice to know when you're hitting a low voltage you know i was doing full throttle flybys hit that low voltage alarm 
if I ease off on the juice, I know I've got another minute or two to fly. So, you know, it's better than just those little smart uh, microchips that you can put onto your low voltage alarms that you can put on a battery and fly. When, when they hit low voltage, they basically stay in low voltage state. The technology here is just kind of mind-blowingly amazing. And we have it on, it's not just on these big, you know, $500 airplanes that E-Flight has. We've got these basic little four channel airplanes with that smart technology too now. And I really, really like that. This, like Abby said, is a very good looking airplane. The only thing missing from this are RC Sailor's stickers. We need a couple on the wings, a couple on the fuselage. Cool I feel like they need an upgraded version though. Pay a little bit more, get the flaps and retract. And lights. And lights, yeah. yeah we'll I'm see. ready for that. Maybe we'll make see. it just a little bit bigger. Why is it that we're never happy with what we have? That's how the hobby is. I think so. <laughs> Welcome to RC. So the, uh, the unique thing here for me is the battery system inside. There is no Velcro that we all love to hate. Now it's this tight little foam block that you kind of wedge your battery in. Uh, you can put some Velcro on your battery and, and use Velcro alongside that, but that wedged in there very tightly and it seems to do the job. I mean, I, I really can't complain. It's just different. I think it's just gonna take getting used to, but it definitely holds the battery. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's very, very snug. I mean, very snug. So I, I applaud them for having that, that battery tray system in there. That's new to me. Normally with E-Flight, we all have those little hook and loop Velcro type systems. This has AS3X and safe and it was helping for those nice smooth three point landings. Well, I'll be honest, I think more than anything, I'm excited to see Abby fly this because this just, it just reminds me so much of the good old days. It's just a simple four channel plane. We keep pushing ourselves to progress and progress and it gets more complicated and more advanced. This is nice and simple, yet it flies very well. If you're a new pilot and you want a Warbird, this would be a good second third, fourth, fifth plane, maybe even a first under the right circumstances. The price is awesome. We'll have a link in the description box below. Remember, as it stands, if you're watching this video and it comes out, these are on pre-order. It may say back order on the website, but they're on pre-order. You order one, you put your name on the list, and about a week they'll ship, and then you'll have your nice, awesome, new bright yellow Trojan T28. This thing is awesome. We'll have everything that we're using to fly this on linked in the description box below. If you want to mimic our exact setup, it's all gonna be down there for you. I wanna say a huge thanks to the big guy upstairs for this beautiful day. Very calm wind to fly on, which was very nice. Although I am freezing, my hand is actually turning pink. So we're gonna go, probably get some nice hot french fries and a warm burger or something. <laughs> One of those holiday pies before they're out of, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love those things. <laughs> And I say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters for buying one of those holiday pies for me to warm me back up after coming out here to freeze to show this awesome new airplane. Guys, you're the best. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have another airplane video popping up right about now. We'll see you there. Bye.